the actions and names of back muscles. Well, actions and a sense are fairly simple because their overall job, for the most part, is to uh, fight against the ab abdominals and the pectoralis muscles on the front of the body. Those muscles are going to curl us forwards. These muscles are going to maintain our posture and bring us backwards. So let's say you don't have time to study. Just kind of remember these, these muscles all have a similar action in bringing the arms, shoulders, elevate, the, um, extend the back. Let's look at levature scapulae. We'll start at the top. Good name because lift the scapula. And indeed, look at that muscle. Attached to the border of the scapula, it's going to elevate the scapula. These muscles, the rhomboid minor major, also involved in the scapula. And they're going to what we call adduct the scapula, which means bring to the midline. Again, the action is to oppose the muscles in the front of the body. The trapezius, look at that, it's attached to the scapula. Because think about this, you move the scapula, you move the arm. So a lot of muscles are involved in moving, um, elevating. In this case, it's going to elevate and rotate the scapula, or shoulder blade. Most people know it by that name, shoulder blade. Deltoid out here has a different action. Instead of adducting, it's going to abduct, because that muscle is going to shorten and bring the arms away from the body. Abduction. Terry's minor, which is here, Terry's major, which is, is quite, lar uh, quite large, really, it doesn't show in this view, and the latissimus dorsi all have a very similar action. See the lats here? Okay. Because we need the arms to come back, again, to oppose the front of the body. And so the action here is to adduct and medially rotate. Sometimes called the swimmer's muscle because if you make a fist with both hands behind your back, that is the action of the latissimus dorsi and to some extent the teres major and minor. They're going to pull the arms back behind the back in like a swimmer's recovery stroke. Serratus posterior does a little twisting of the trunk and helps with breathing. Okay, on to the, oh, infraspinatus. I like that word because infra means below the spine of the scapula. Infra down here, which is going to help also a little bit with that adduction towards the middle. And the supra, there's the word here, supra above the spine, it's part of the rotator cuff, so it's going to do a little rotation of the shoulder. So you get the picture now? A lot of these actions are very similar and they relate to the fibers. Rector spinae, you can see a little glimpse of them, but they extend all the way from the pelvis to the neck. Their action is going to be, you might guess, to you know maintain posture. So they're going to extend the back press, um, so that we're not hunched over our whole life. Now if we're going to name them, the spinalis is near the spine. So this is spinalis, uh, excuse me, thoracis. I wrote the word here, thoracis. But if the patient has a lower back injury along the spine, we call that the spinalis lumborum. Okay, so it's a two-word kind of name. And it'd be spinalis cervicus. All right, so two words to that. Let's say you're taking a test. The pin is right here. Well, that is the longissimus thoracis, longissimus lumborum, longissimus cervicus. Or if it's furthest out, ilicostalis thoracis, ilicostalis lumborum, cervicus, or I. Love spinach. Ilicostalis, longissimus, spinalis. Major back muscles.